What's up guys? Hope you're all doing really well. So I am going to do the quickest little video we possibly can. Well, I just thought I would just sit in where I've been doing interviews and um, just show you and tell you what we've been doing. So I'm currently at a uh, corporate client and they want me to do a sort of mini documentary uh, about the history of this facility. Um, we had to film two lots of two people so i filmed two ladies next to each other uh twice and then i've just filmed a lovely guy called kev by himself um some of these workers have been here for like 40 years it's been crazy and we're currently in one of their new rooms i don't know really what this room is for but i'm gonna try and tell you just how we've set this up never been in this room before in my entire life um, so it's sort of one of those ones where we've come in, we're winging it um, and just trying to use a little bit of experience to uh, make something look quite nice, I guess. I'm going to start off with the key light. So I currently have a Nanlite 300B Mark II with a lantern. I'm powering it with uh, V-mount batteries so I don't have to have any wires anywhere. This is literally my key light and what it's also doing is obviously lighting this part of my face as well as lighting the sort of background at the same time um, so I sort of killed two birds with one stone there and it just makes this sort of area look a lot nicer the reason I've got this key light so high is because when I'm here I mean I can't I can sort of see myself in a director's monitor when I'm here and if I was talking you can't see the reflection in my glasses correct yeah Sergio's nodding in his head so you can't see the reflection in my glasses. Whereas if this light was higher, you'll start to see the reflection in the eyes. So when I come down here and I'm looking effectively, if I was the person and I'm looking at myself, then uh, there shouldn't be much reflection in my glasses at all. So that's the reason why that's, I've positioned that the way it is. Um, I do have then like a negative fill this side, just to try and add some sort of contrast in because we are in quite a a biggish space um, and obviously we want a little bit of contrast because what the interviewees have been doing is sort of looking here so when they're not like dead on they're a bit here so we're filming it sort of into the contrast um, and then I have the second camera which I'll talk about in a bit I then have my uh, rim light hair light whatever you want to call it is a Pavo Slim 120C um, and then I've just got that on a boom pole just out of shot which is then shining down and and giving me sort of this light here i then have uh three lights in the background i don't know if you can really see them but i have like an orange light that's the company colors the company color is orange so i just wanted to incorporate that somewhere so i've put that in the back there just to light up that section plus it shows you a bit more of where we are i then have another pavo tube down there um just lighting up like that next bit and then right at the back i have put a uh 60c with a projector and i've just shone it so it looks like there's a sort of i mean i can't see myself so maybe i'm pointing in the right direction um just so it looks like there's some sort of light happening in the back there it's coming down and just adds another little bit of depth to the interview that way in terms of the cameras i am filming on a sony fx6 and I have the DZO Film Cata Zoom 35 to 80, which is the one that we're filming on right now. Um, I then have like a Tilter Mirage matte box. I have my Atomus Ninja Ultra as a monitor. And then I have my Hollyland uh, Pyro S's. Um, the reason I've got the Hollylands is because I then have a director's monitor with the Tilter cage on and the Atomus Shogun 7 inch and then obviously the uh, the Pyro S again there. Um, it's just always nicer to see the image of an interview a little bit bigger and it's nicer and obviously Sergio is behind the camera right now he's been helping me throughout the day and he can just obviously just look over my shoulder and have a little look without getting in the way um, and then if any of the big bosses come in and they wanted to have a little look they're more than welcome to just stand back, look at that monitor without interrupting me and what I'm doing. Uh, the second camera angle, which is the one I'm looking at right now, is um, the Sony FX30. And I, again, 
have the DZO Film Kata Zoom on it, and that is the 70 to 135. Because the FX30 is crop sensor, that 70 mil turns into 85. So that is what that is right now. Um, and then I have the Rode NTG4 Plus as my microphone right here. And um, it is just directly, like I can literally touch it. The way I've angled things with the cameras was because this room is so echoey, we've got the aircon that we can't turn off. There's also, uh, I think they're called milling machines or something above us and the floor above. There's a lot of background sound. There's also people coming back and forth on their lunch through the door out there. We have got signs out there as well, telling people to be quiet, but um, sometimes you, you can't control that. So you can hear everything. Um, so what I've done is position the camera where I could get the microphone as close as possible to that person's mouth. Um, especially when there was the two women, there was the two people, I just placed the microphone directly in the middle of them and um, hopefully it's worked out. It sounded like it did, so there is that. If you turn off all of these lights and show everybody what it looks like without any of this on, and then I'll do one light each time and I'll show you guys what it looks like, basically. This is, I mean, Sergio's back there now, but this is what it looks like uh, with the factory lights. So none of my lights or anything like that. These are the factory lights. Um, it doesn't look great, does it? It's a bit disgusting. So what I'll get Sergio to do now is turn off all the lights and then I'll turn on each light individually and you can see how I built this scene for the interviews. So we're gonna start off with the 60C and do the very far backlight. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's really doing anything right now, but it does, it does. Okay, so there's that. Okay, there's the Pavo tube. That's the 30X. There is the second Pavo tube. That's the company colors. Uh, okay, rim light, hair light, and then finally, key light. So that, that's exactly what we've done. So we've just basically just built this scene, as you can see. I mean, I can see myself in the director's monitor now. So um, you can see from here, this is all like lit to match sort of this side of my face. And then it just, obviously we've got the contrast here and then it just gets uh, progressively, you know, and then this bit's dark. I was thinking of lighting up this bit, but I thought I'd leave it. And um, so that is that, that's how I built this scene. I literally just came in, made sort of Sergio sit down and I just sort of built the scene and uh, this is what I've come up with. You also have to remember, yes, I may have done things slightly different if I had more time, um, but initially this morning we didn't have as much time, so I needed to just come in, get something done and uh, yeah, this is what I created, so uh, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Smashed it! All in one! Look at that! I can make a little YouTube video out of that.